Hey YouTube, it's Archangel, bring you guys another update on my tank. I did get a new piece of equipment and um, something extremely sad happened during the beginning of the week. Um, so everybody knows it's summer now, uh, the AC has been on in my house and actually what happened was is it got cool enough in my room to turn the pump off for the chiller. So overnight the pump turned off and I, I don't know what happened but when it turned back on um, the water got actually too low in the sump and it started taking water from my bucket over there and pumping it in and for some reason I don't know why it just kept pumping water in and it actually filled up my tank and over started overflowing and then it's, I had about me like I don't know a gallon two gallons of water like all over my floor and I woke up to hear the mixing pump in there, you know, screaming that there's no water in there because it's all on the floor. But um, as a coincidence, I happened to order a float switch for this type of situation, and um, it actually happened before I actually before I got the float switch, which was the weirdest thing. I don't know why it happened, but uh, it did. Anyway, in the process of overflowing, water spilled onto my controller here, uh, my Vortec MP10 controller. Uh, the water got inside, shorted it out, and I was without a uh, MP10 for about three days, three four days. I contacted Eco Ecotech Marine, and they were more than happy to send me a new controller to put on the inside, which was really great. So, uh, thumbs up to Ecotech Marine. He has some excellent customer service over there. So I fixed that MP10 issue. Everything's working fine. Now let's get to the float switch. Alright, so where is it? What it is first is a high level, high level sensor float. Um, I renamed it over here at my Reef Keeper Light. I'll pull it up over here. I call it the overflow. And right now the switch is open. Alright, so let's, let me show you where I actually put it. So it's going to be over here in the first chamber of the bio cube. Right here is my float switch. How it works is um, if for some reason that situation were to occur again, water is being pumped into the tank for some odd reason, what's going to happen is I'll give you guys a demonstration right here. I mounted it right here with uh, some coral glue and if the water was to rise I'll move the float switch right here if the water were to keep rising up to the point that the switch activates it's going to automatically shut off my return pump you can see over here my reef keeper light is sent off an alarm and that's it the water is going to be drained down back into the sump. As the water drains down into the sump, this float switch is going to go down. Alright, and you'll see automatically the return pump is going to turn back on. So that's a fail safe that I just installed on my, on my bio cube because I am going away on vacation and I don't want water to be all over my floor when I get back. Um, and if it were to happen, the way that you would know is when you would come back home, you would still see this flashing and beeping. I have it set to flash and beep, and it'll let you know that something's gone wrong. And um, it's going to tell me right here that the overflow switch has been triggered. And the way to turn that off is just to hit the enter button, and then that's it. You're back to uh, normal operation over here. So that's a fail safe that I installed right here. Gives me some peace of mind. Now I can sleep soundly at night knowing that my tank's not overflowing. Or I could go away on vacation and know that if the water were to rise, it's going to shut off automatically and I'll have no problems. And uh, you might also have noticed I, I moved this core right here. I thought it was too high up uh, and it was, it was getting too much light. So what I did was I took the rocks that were here and I flip flopped them, moving it down a little bit. Hopefully that'll be a little better for the coral. Um, let's see, anything else? 
Oh yeah. Um, I've contacted the second winner, and I've sent him out an Aquatic Life T-shirt. So that's two shirts gone. I have two shirts left, one large and one extra large. And um, don't forget, at the end of those, the giveaway, when I give him away all the shirts, I had the grand prize still right here. The uh, Aquatic Life Marine Utility Pump. And uh, to be entered to win this, remember you get to do three things. One, be a subscriber to my channel. Two, post a comment on my videos. And three, press that like button. I want to see those three things in order for you to, one, win that shirt that I'm giving away. And two, at the end of the giveaway, win that new, brand new Aquatic Life pump. Alright, so this is... I'm going to be uh, Archangel signing out, and I'll catch you guys later. I almost forgot, I have two new shirts available for sale on my web store, guys. Please go check them out. Here are a couple pictures of them. Um, the money that's generated from the sale of these shirts is going to go right back into the hobby. Uh, whether it be new products for product reviews, or products that I'll be able to do giveaways. Please. Check out my store www.coralreefforum.com and click on the web stores to check them out. Thanks.